the appointing authority is the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Why are you questioning due process in a discussion of resignation of USEX and ASEX? Wala pa pong nagtatanong about that, uh, Madam Vice President. Sir, kinontem niyo Madam... na... Sir, dinitain niyo na yung tao for due process. Madam Vice President... Kin Sir, nasa loob ng detention ang tao because you question due process. Asaan ang explanation ng due process ninyo doon? I think the proper remedy... And I think you are a lawyer. Yes, sir. The proper remedy is to go to the court. Sir, do you really want to show the Filipino people ko anong kaalaman ninyo sa batas? Ang, ang sinasabi ko lang po ay sundin uh -oh. po natin yung batas Kaya nga, sir, House. sundin natin yung Kasi batas. Kasi nandito po kayo dito sa bahay ng Kongreso. Yes, sir. Sundin natin yung batas. Why will you penalize, punish Yusek Lopez? for an act of the president. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. As I've said, no, doon sa mga kwento na napanood natin, sa statement ni uh, BP Sara, at saka sa statement ng COS, ng OVP, So, na-realize natin dito, paliwas doon sa kwento nila, yung tunay na pangyayari. Of course, um, pinatunayan niya na no, nung interpellation ni Representative Swan Singh at saka ni Congressman Kowun. So, Mr. Chair, um, in our last session, so just to review, the committee passed my motion to hold. Attorney Lopez in contempt under Section 11F of the Rules of Inquiries in Aid of Legislation for undue interference in our proceedings and resolve to detain her for a period of five days instead of 10 days or maximum of 10 days as provided for in our Section 12 of the same rule. I must stress also, Mr. Chair, that the totality, just you have said a while ago, the totality of Attorney Lopez's acts and conduct warranted a detention of more than five days. Considering the totality of her acts of undue interference to the proceedings of this committee and, co and the Congress as a whole, as a whole, she not only admitted writing to the COA in order to suppress or prevent the release of documents, but worse, Mr. Chair, she continued to assert her position during our hearing, as well as in prior corresp correspondences that she sent to his committee in refusing to attend our prior, uh, our prior hearings. But by virtue of her conduct, the committee was deprived of invaluable information necessary to allow it to perform its role of crafting legislation for the improvement of the country's system of governance and transparency, Mr. Chair. In fact, she only attended when a threat of contempt citation loomed large should, uh, should she fail to comply again with the subpena, duces tecum, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, um, in view of the uh, um, what happened during the last two days or so, I would like to consider to move for a reconsideration of our resolution in so far as it's limited the period of detention for only five days. I move, Mr. Chair, that the period of detention of Attorney Lopez be 10 days instead of 5 days. So move, Mr. Chair. Uh, 10 days, uh, so additional 5 days, tama po ba? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, kasi hindi na siya maka-attend ngayon. Ano? Kalagang ano, no? so nakita na naman natin sa history nung kanyang evas evasive attitude, 
behavior at itong kinreate niya na sinasabi niya na nagpagsisinungaling niya na hindi naman siya hinaras or hindi naman siya uh, na, na barge yung kanyang yung, yung room ay kasama na po yan. So yung lahat ng mga pangyayari Mr. Chair. So I'm, I, I, I repeat I move to uh, to uh, to extend the period of contempt of Attorney Sulaika Lopez, Mr. Chair. Is there second to the motion, Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair, Congressman Margoleta. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Before an action may be taken by the committee, may I know how the totality of evidence uh, was evaluated? that merited the uh, contempt order by the chair. Congresswoman Castro. Mr. Chair, I'd like to... Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, may I'd I like answer? I'd like to apprise the uh, yes, court, Mr. Chair. So, that in the case uh, of... So, um, sino po ang, ang in-acknowledge niya, Mr. Chair? This is, this is Congressman a point Margarita. of information, Mr. Okay. Chair. This yes. is something that has to do with Congress, the rights Congressman delivered people. In the court, Congressman Margoleta, let us, uh, the chair recognizes Congressman, Congresswoman so, may Castro. I ask Mr. Chair, Please proceed, Congresswoman Castro. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I ask the action of the committee first on my motion, Mr. Chair, before we enter. We will uh, rule on the okay. motion first. Okay. Uh, is there any second to the motion? Mr. Chair, may I be recognized? Please? Julie seconded. Uh, is there any objection? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair I, none, the I, I was carried. recognized Chair. earlier before any action may be taken by the court, uh, by, the, by the chair. Why is it that I am not allowed to speak? Uh, Congressman Margoleta, there is a pending motion. We just acted yes, on the pending motion Yes, but before that motion can be taken up because this, this is the about the liberty of an individual. May I be, may I be heard? Yes, you will be heard, Congressman Margoleta. But uh, we just acted on the motion. Now, Congresswoman Castro, please, could you please answer the query of Congressman Margoleta? I have not yet asked the question, Mr. Chair. Okay, please I am continue. trying to explain my point. Please continue, Congressman Margaret. Because in the totality of evidence, as stated by Honorable Castro, there is an existing case, Mr. Chair. Ong versus Senate, GR number 257401, which says that the court ruled that the determination of whether a testimony was false or evasive requires an assessment of the totality of evidence presented to determine whether a witness speaks truthfully or merely trying to evade answering the question directly. So I am asking, Mr. Chair, how was the totality of evidence assessed, if ever it was assessed? Ano po yung pinagbatayan? I, I think we deserve to know how the assessment was made. This concerns the liberty of an individual. Under the Constitution, no one should be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. I think Attorney Lopez deserves to be heard. Ano po yung assessment na ginawa ng chair o ng committee? Kasi po, nais, ang, na, ang nabasa ko lang o nakita ko, Mr. Chair, uh, Attorney Lopez wrote the COA explaining the position of the OBP that the audit observation memo is not conclusive, which means, Mr. Chair, Attorney Lopez is merely explaining the nature of an audit observation memo. If I were the lawyer of uh, the OBP, I would have done the same. Because I think the very nature of the AOM, it is not final and executory. Why would, why would the COA abdicate its mandate of auditing the transaction or the funds utilization of the OBP? Why would the committee, Mr. Chair, Arrogate upon itself 
the very mandate and responsibility of the Commission on Audit. Article 9D, Section 2, Paragraph 1 of the 1987 Constitution, Mr. Chair, I will read. The Commission on Audit shall have the power, authority, and the duty to examine, audit, and settle all accounts pertaining to the revenue and receipts of and expenditures or uses of funds and property. Mr. Chair, this constitutional provision jibes with Section 25, Paragraph 2 of Presidential Decree 1445 or the State Audit Code of the Philippines, which says, to develop and implement a comprehensive audit program that shall encompass an examination of financial transactions, accounts, and reports, including evaluation of compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Meaning to say, Mr. Chair, the mandate and authority to audit accounts on the expenses or expenditures of government is only the COA. I believe, it is my respectful submission, Mr. Chair, that this committee usurp that particular mandate and that will now put the Commission on Audit positions in a compromise, Mr. Chair. How, we now, how, how will you now uh, assess the authority, the integrity and the, and the mandate? It is an independent constitutional body which mandate rests upon them. And I think the audit observation memo, Mr. Chair, is still under process by the committee, by the Commission on Audit. Why would we take that responsibility from the Commission on Audit? Why don't we allow the process to proceed and complete that investigation? I am raising a constitutional issue before this committee, Mr. Chair. We cannot arrogate upon ourselves the principal mandate repose to the COA. It is the Constitution itself which gave them that responsibility, that authority and mandate. Where? Where in Article 7 of the Philippine Constitution, which is the grant of legislative power, can this committee arrogate upon itself that particular mandate? I would like that question to be answered, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Marcoleta. The Chair would like to recognize the Honorable Congressman Paduan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to clear it out with regards to the, the jurisprudence that's cited by the Honorable Marcoleta with regards to Ong versus Senate, that is true. No, that the, the resolution of the Supreme Court favors uh, Lincoln Ong, but, but, that is a question of due process because Lincoln Ong was that time was cited in contempt. Now, question of question of the case of uh, Mr. Chair, I direct the Lepo, question to you. I am not yet finished my manifestation or answer to the query of the Honorable Marco Leta, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, please Chair, wish to be recognized. Congressman Marco Leta, wish to be recognized. Mr. Chairman. I Mr. Have all the right. Chair, no, the have question this. was addressed to Congressman uh, Marcoleta. Let me first recognize Congressman Paduano. Before you answer, before you recognize pa him, I Marcoleta, deserve. You are out of order. I deserve, <laughs> Mr. Chair, an answer. One minute suspension is declared by the chair. Castro. Yeah, so before anything else, Mr. Chair, yes. uh, before you ask, uh, you answer the question of Honorable Marcoleta, may, ask, may I be uh, cleared out po yung sa aking motion? So my motion is on the table. So may I know the decision of the chair? Tapos na po. Na-declare na, na so, nakapag-act na po ang chair. Okay, so wala na po tayong ano doon. Wala na okay. There is no pending motion. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, to answer the question of the Honorable Marcoleta with respect to the totality of acts, of uh, Attorney Lopez, uh, the chair already uh, explained it clearly in my opening uh, remarks. And I will repeat, uh, Congressman uh, Marcoleta, 
While Attorney Lopez presented herself as respectful or courteous, nakita po ng committee na ang kanyang mga sagot at mga pagkilos mula sa mag-umpisa ng inquiry nito ay evasive, uncooperative, and untruthful. The suma ang suma total at kabuuan ng kanyang mga acts and responses ultimately convinced the committee that Attorney Lopez was guilty of interfering in and frustrating Congress exercise of its power of legislative inquiry. Halimbawa, isolated incident lang daw ang kanyang pagtanggal kay Yusek Gloria Mercado sa DEPED, subalit na paamin rin siya kalaunan na may mga iba pa siyang mga tinatanggal na opisyal sa DEPED kahit na hindi siya opisyal neto. Paulit-ulit din pong sinabi ni Attorney Lopez na wala siyang alam sa utilization ng CONFI Fund ng OBP. Paulit-ulit ito na sagot, subalit may mga dokumento at ebidensya kagaya na lamang ng mga sulat sa COA at testimonya mismo ng iba pa nitong resource persons na nagtuturo kay Attorney Lopez bilang involved hindi lang sa pag-request ng CONFI Fund kung di pati na rin sa utilization at liquidation nito. Inamin ni Attorney Lopez na sila ng kanyang assistant COS na si Limuel Ortonio ang nakalagda sa sulat sa COA patungo sa liquidation ng confidential funds. Inamin niya rin na nag-issue siya ng isa pang sulat na tinatangkang pigilan ng ANCOA sa pagkumplay sa isang sabpina mula sa kongresong ito. Ilang beses rin po nakatanggap ang komite ng mga iba pang sulat mula kay Attorney Lopez na tumatangging humarap sa komite on the basis of the same grounds na kanyang inilahad sa sulat ng COA. Kung titignan po ang totality of Attorney Lopez Acts, malinaw na mayroong clear, persistent, and willful attempt to interfere, frustrate, and defeat the inquiry undertaken by the committee at dahil dito ay nahatulan siya ng contempt under Section 11F of our Rules of Procedure Governing Inquiries in Aid of Legislation. During the course of the hearing, Attorney Lopez was uh, asked, tinanong po siya, kung uh, sila po ay nagsampa ng uh, kaso dito po sa Supreme Court, dito po sa request ng uh, uh, Kamara para humingi po ng mga dokumento at sinabi po niya ay hindi. Ang uh, act po ng Congress, uh, ito po yung nadesisyonan na nung nakaraang uh, committee hearing at ang meron man pong question sa constitutionality na ginagawa po ng Kamara at any time po pwede po tayong mag-question sa Supreme Court via petition for certiorari. Maraming salamat po, Congressman Marcoleta. Mr. Chair, yun nga po yung tinatanong ko sa inyo kanina kung paano ginanap yung assessment ng totality of evidence. Sapagkat kung napansin po ninyo, isinama po yung diomano ay pagtatanggal ng ibang kawani ng uh, DepEd na po, wala yatang ang pagkakatining ko po sa mga minutes ay wala pong due process na pinagtatanggal po sila. Isa po yun yata sa ebidensya na ipinasok ninyo sa totality. Tama po ba? Isa lamang po yun sa mga napag-usapan po. Gusto ko lamang pong puntuhan Tama yun po. sapagkat ako po, ako po bilang isa, tinanggal po ako sa lahat ng aking committee, hindi ko man lang po alam kung ano yung kasalanan ko. I was not even informed. The first element of due process is notice. I was not notified. What did I do wrong? Wala po. Pero pinagtatanggal po ako, eh, tinanggap ko naman eh. Pero wala pong due process. Yung po ang gusto kong ipaintindi rin. Pati nga po yung membership ko sa Commission on Appointments na wala namang kinalaman dito sa gawain natin sa Kongreso, tinanggal din po ako ron. Meron po ba due process? Tingnan po ninyo yung ginawa niyang sulat. Point of order, point Mr. Of Chairman. Order. Point of order. What is the point I of think, order, uh, Congressman? Mr. Chairman, the uh, good uh, gentleman, uh, is not under investigation in this committee and we are investigating other matter. If you wanted to be uh, investigated in the water, I think I Mr. Chairman, this I is still not the, the point of order. order is is proper. I still have what the floor, is, Mr. What Marcoleta. is the point of I'm order? Congressman Marcoleta, you have to suspend, Mr. Chair. One minute suspension is declared by Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, 
while you are suspended, may we respectfully request that all the employees of the Office of the Vice President sit together so that we can easily confer with each other because the other employees are um, quite few seats away from us. So we want to sit together so that we can confer easily with each other. Please, thank you. Usman uh, Akop is recognized. With the indulgence of the Honorable Marcoleta, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I think we, be, we might as well agree to disagree with one another here. Bago po tayo magpatuloy. Di po ba? Yes, I agree, Congressman Akop. So, we follow our rules. Uh, the Honorable Marcoleta is a member of this Congress, so he knows the rules and he is obligated to follow the rules. Otherwise, he'll be declared out of order and be taken out of this room. So, for all of us, members of Congress, let's follow the House rules. That's why they are there for orderly proceedings. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Akop. We will now proceed to the next item in our agenda. Wala Mr. Na po Mr. Chair, Respectfully, may I say something? Yes, uh, Honorable. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. Honorable Vice Mr. President, Chair. before I recognize you, would you like to take your oath? Yeah. I Mr. will Chair. only recognize you if you will take your oath. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Please administer the oath of the Honorable Vice President. Your Honor, please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this inquiry? So help you God. Yes. The oath has been administered, Your Honors. Thank you. I will recognize you now, okay. Honorable Vice President. Yes. Um, Mr. Chair, the position of Undersecretary and Assistant Secretaries and other appointed positions are positions of trust and confidence by the appointing authority. The resignation letters of the USEX and the ASEX of DepEd were accepted by the appointing authority. And who is that? Mr. Chair. The President of the Republic of the Philippines. Yes. It is not the Secretary of the Department of Education. So you ask the President of the Republic of the Philippines why he accepted the resignation of the USEX and the ASEX. What is the point, uh, Honorable Vice President? Ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, bakit nyo kinakwestiyon ang due process? Tanungin nyo ang appointing authority, bakit niya tinanggap ang resignation letter? Um, Madam Vice President, yes, uh, we will... Uh, wala pa po tayo dun sa usapin na yun. Sa anong usapin, Later sir? po. Later po sa binabanggit po ninyo. Sa wala usap... pa po tayo sa period of interpolation. Bubuksan ko pa lamang po ang period of interpolation. Yes, sir. Nandun na kayo sa topic. Hindi po tayo nag interpolation Madam ngayon. Vice President, nag-uusap po muna ang mga miyembro. Yes, so, sir. So, please uh, do respect. Yung yes, mga... I am very respectful. I am dovetailing from Congressman Marcoleta. The appointing authority is the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Why are you questioning due process in a discussion of resignation of USEX and ASEX? Wala pa pong nagtatanong about that, uh, Madam Vice President. Sir, kinontem niyo Madam... na... Sir, dinitain niyo na yung tao for due process. Madam Vice President... Kin Sir... Nasa loob ng detention ang tao because you question due process. Asaan ang explanation ng due process ninyo doon? Nasaan? Madam Vice Tinanong President. kita kanina. I'm sorry, sir. Tinanong kita kanina, sino ang appointing authority? USEC ng ASEC. Anong sagot mo? Secretary. Hindi, Hindi mo alam. Po. Hindi pa po ako nagsumasagot. Hindi mo. Nakita kita. Sumagot. Camera. Kita kita sumagot. Sinabi mo, Secretary. Mr. Chairman, motion to suspend for five minutes. Uh, one, one minute to One, mi one minute president. suspension is declared by the Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. May I, may I be allowed? Yes, uh, Madam Vice yes. President. 
you need to reconsider that extension of your detention. It was illegal in the first place. You ask the president why he accepted the resignation. Do not ask due process. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chair? yes, Congressman Paduano. Congressman Nakop. Mr. Chair, uh, Madam Vice President, if you have any question in so far as the actions of this committee are concerned, I think the proper remedy is for you to go to the court. Sir, I will go to court. Opo, pero oh, that oh. is Pero araw-araw, your... you are depriving a person of her liberty while I await. That is precisely the point, ma'am. The... If our action of detaining we... your chief of staff is against the law, I think the proper remedy, and I think you are a lawyer, Yes, sir. The proper remedy is to go to the court. Sir, do you really want to show the Filipino people ko anong kaalaman ninyo sa batas? Ang ang sinasabi ko lang po ay sundin uh -oh. po natin yung batas. Kaya nga sir, sa sundin natin yung Kasi batas. Kasi nandito po kayo dito sa bahay ng Kongreso. Yes, sir. Sundin natin yung batas. Why will you penalize, punish Yusek Lopez? for an act of the president Madam Vice President that is the uh, that is the decision of the committee as a whole uh, sana po respetuhin po ninyo Yes sir Kung meron pong uh, okay. remedy alam naman po ninyo bilang abogado na tama po yung sinasabi ni Congressman Ako pwede po tayong mag-file ng relief sa okay. court Okay sige sir Tinutulungan ko lang kayo, sir, kasi napapahiya ang Pilipinas. Ganito ba ang House of Representatives? Tinutulungan ko lang kayo. Maraming salamat po, Madam Vice President. Uh, with all due respect, yes. um, Mr. Chair. Congressman, Mr. Chair. Uh,